Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So before we start on the drawing itself, I actually wanted to talk a little bit about um, kind of how this video is going to go because um, it's going to be all over the place. As you can see, I already have a sketch kind of laid out and I actually wanted to spend some time to finish it finally um, because I actually haven't been sketching for myself for a while just because... The last I, almost like two weeks it feels like I've been busy with like deadlines or trying to squeeze in too many things into my schedule whether or not it's like family stuff um, just kind of like work related stuff kind of like everything com compiled together is just like taking up eating, like eating up my time um, but I am gonna treat today Monday kind of a, like as a reset I finally caught up on pretty much like I think 80% of my deadlines so I can take a little bit of time to relax a little bit recuperate on just drawing for myself and probably Wednesday's video is probably gonna be maybe 17 drawing we'll see we'll see how I feel that day because I might be I don't know I might be a little bit more ambitious and maybe do another random character or Genshin character generated video. Um, I think that would be fun. Or I don't know. I have two ideas for that that we can do. One, I could resume like the derpy little chibis that I was doing earlier. Or I have something else planned, which would be a good exercise for me. So um, yeah, I'll probably see where I'm going to end up. So today, as for the sketches, I'm sketching out Woozy first. And he's from 17. I just wanted to draw this really cute... Um, I think it's like from a photo shoot that he had it just had like a really cute outfit He posed really cutely and stuff and I didn't plan out the sketch entirely correctly because I Wanted to do more of a full body, but I ended up like cutting it off where his knees were because I didn't proportionally map it out correctly um, But yeah for the rest of the doodles are gonna go a lot faster I decided to slow down the footage a little bit more um, so I, we could spend a little bit more time just fleshing this one out because this is the one I enjoyed the most I think the third doodle I actually really like too But yeah, this is just gonna be kind of like a compilation of just me sketching things that I really wanted to do mm, Now that I'm thinking about it Wednesday's video, maybe we'll do another sketching session, but on the iPad I think with the amount of stuff that comes like around the beginning of the year, like content wise for like K-pop or like, um, like I think it's mostly K-pop groups. Um, there's a lot of things I want to draw. There's like a lot of cute outfits, there's performances, there's like selkas, there's like a whole bunch of things. And I feel like I've been super behind. I haven't done fan art for Ruby yet. And I love, you know, drawing 17. And if I can, I want to make fan art of their like solo songs or any project songs and stuff and I feel bad that I haven't done anything for Woozies and I really like Ruby it's really catchy so yeah I would love to do something for it but maybe I'll need to plan it out a little bit um or just sketch stuff because there's some really cute things I wanted to sketch out color play with and kind of just see where it takes me and that's kind of like I kind of treated today as the thing is, is that I was gonna plan out my whole Sunday. I did these on Sunday, by the way. This is how behind I, I am. I'm doing like the video the night before, which isn't what I like to do. Um, if I can, I like to have a little bit of buffer room and, you know, let myself have a little bit of time to edit and flesh things out. But I like having things to be consistently uploaded. Like otherwise, I don't know. I feel like something's off otherwise, um, but we'll see. That's like some stuff I need to figure out and hopefully using a planner more consistently is going to help out. Um, but yeah, the last few days were kind of like jumbled up. I actually planned out Sunday to be the day that I was going to basically do maybe a couple of spreads in my sketchbook just to really flush it out. And to also just bring back that sketchbook habit. I've been neglecting my sketchbook a little bit, but I feel like it's because I've been neglecting drawing in general. I think the last digital drawing that I did was actually the Yunjin one, which is which feels like a week and a half ago, I feel like, since I've recorded it. And then, yeah, I feel like that's how long it's been. Other than making, like, I think I made two freebie stickers, or one freebie sticker um, for mailing out orders. It was probably the last thing I drew digitally, and that's like a week ago, so it's like... 
I don't know, I haven't been drawing too much and I wanna get back into drawing more frequently because I'm also just not active in general anymore um, on any social media and I I don't I really don't like it because I like treating my Instagram kind of as like an archive for my drawing. So now that I've noticed I slowed down on there, um, I realized that I actually have nothing new to post. Well, anything like new that I like, I guess. I'm pretty much treating today's voiceover as just like a rambling session. I'm letting like everything just flow out currently. So apologies if this is probably considerably boring to a lot of you guys. But today, I keep saying that. I don't know why I keep saying that. But um, the drawing that I'm doing, I'm just doing in graphite. I am going to move on to use a different um, needlepoint pen a little bit later and then we'll move back into graphite. So I think three days ago, I had to go help out with my parents to go troubleshoot some stuff with their router, I think. I think it was their router. Like I think the router was having issues so I had to fill around with that in the modem to connect with to their computer. But apparently the router was having issues in general so we had to go get a new one. But because I was out that day, um, I decided to pick up some new pens because I wanted to find some needlepoint pens that work really nicely. And this one works nice enough, but I do have some gripes with it. And I don't think it's going to be evident in the video, but there's like two brands that I- well not two brands, two pens that I usually like using. And in general, if I'm sketching or doing like um, any kind of inking or anything in my sketchbook where I'm not adding color, I don't care about like line weight or line variation, I do like using like needlepoint pens. I just like the consistency of it. The ink flow is quite nice and I usually use the... which one is it? Is it like the high tech V-point or something like that? And then the other one's like the Stadler liquid point. but. The Staedtler liquid point won't dry on this paper for whatever reason. And the high tech V point, I think I had a set of three and I only can find one and that one's getting dangerously low on ink. So I decided to buy a different set. And I bought the Uniball Vision Needle. Now I think if you've seen in my other videos that if, actually have I used it in videos? I'm actually not too sure. I have the Uniball Vision Needle in the size like fine I think and I found it too thick and it skips quite a bit if you're working quickly and I like having long consistent lines if I can so skipping is just like not ideal for my sketching or just inking in general so I decided to pick it up um, not pick it up, pick up another one, which is the Uniball Vision Needle, but it's in micro. And it's the same kind of thickness that I like that's similar to the other one. So I've been using it a little bit today. So it's been quite nice. It does skip a little bit, but it's not as bad. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to use that in the future, as well as that this one is waterproof. So we'll see how well it works in the sketchbook, because it'd be nice to ink sometimes before I do the watercolor and stuff just because I can pick and choose what I want to leave as um, the colored areas versus leaving it as pure white or the white of the page. Um, for the woozy doodle, I decided to add a little bit of green because in the reference that I had, he's standing kind of in front of a plant. Like it's in the back of the room. It's not like super prominent, but I wanted to add a little bit of color to the spread. So I decided to add a little bit of foliage and then just add a little bit of text. And then the next few doodles are just gonna fly by probably. I sped them up considerably, like I sped them up a lot um, because I don't really want it to be the main focus of the video. I found the doodle of Woozy, which is on the left, a little bit more therapeutic for myself. So I, I could take my time to just flesh out the clothing folds, do a little bit of patterning, indication of like thickness of his clothing and stuff was quite fun. Um, and then this one, I'm just drawing Wanu so I can test out the pen really quickly. And then I think I draw Vernon and I draw June a little bit later. So I'm just basically filling up this page. I don't, I didn't treat this one like a spread. I kind of kept everything within the page borders, like including the the seam in the middle, like the spine. And usually for these kinds of pages where you can see like the little stitching, I like to cross across, like I use the whole spread and cross a, like the middle part of the seam and stuff just because it is completely flat. So it's nice to get something a little bit more seamless. 
But yeah, I was trying to figure a way to ink this. I have a few sketches of Wanu actually, because he's been wearing, or at least the references that I've been pulling. Um, he has kind of more like darker clothing. So I was having fun doing more of a consistent, almost like a hatching to fill in the black and stuff. And I think it looks really cute. But I, you can see that I was kind of thinking, do I want to do hatching or do I want to fill it in solid black? So I think I did mostly solid black for the hair and then I'm gonna go back in, do a little bit of hatching. And then for the rest of it, I hatch the clothing to make sure that I could get a more of an even consistency. I feel like inking for me is just too, I don't know. It's, it's hard for me to pick how I want to ink. And I think it's because of the lack of practice that I have that I can't, like I can't tell what I like and what I don't like and why I don't like it or why I do like it. So I definitely need to ink a little bit more in the future. I just know that I do like the looks of like solid black or like these consistent lines. I do think it looks really cool. So I would like to continue to do more. And maybe in the next sketchbook doodle, when I plan these out a little bit more in advance, I can do a painting session. I really do want to work with gouache again. I'm, I'm feeling like there's so many mediums that I want to keep up with that I'm getting rusty because I don't draw as much anymore and I want to get back into drawing again. I definitely do. There's too much admin work that I've been doing this week and it kind of sucks. I don't know if you guys are like this, but I feel like answering to emails and just messages in general gives me a lot of anxiety since like, I don't know, probably from school days, like uni and stuff. I think it got worse when I had to do auction coordinator stuff back in uni because I didn't I didn't I didn't want to follow up with like emails and then I always receive bad news back from people and it's just like I don't know it just got really depressing super fast so I hated and dreaded opening up my email but now I'm like maintaining bad habits so I really need to crush those habits and move on so I don't I don't get bogged down by them I guess Today's super rambly today. Can you tell that it's like 2 a.m. right now? And like, I've probably lost my mind. Um, but yeah, I decided to do sketch Vernon with pencil. I realized that I was just not in the inking mood. And pencil is for me, it's like a go-to. And I don't really, like, I don't know. Pencil in the sketchbook just looks really nice. So I know I can fall back on it for whatever I want to work on. So I decided to sketch Vernon really quickly. And yeah, most of these are just with reference. It's just easier for my mind to just imitate a photo, but then do whatever I want to to stylize it in a way. Cause I can choose to go more detailed like I did for the woozy one or go less detailed like though I did for the Vernon one, which I'm currently working on. And just getting like a quick indication of like folds, a little bit of shadow and form. And that's basically it for him. Um, and that I decided that I wanted a little bit of color to break up the sketches and kind of like unify them a little bit. I wasn't planning on doing pencil work on this side of the sketchbook. Um, I was actually planning, I wanted to do a whole spread of ink, just inking, but the, I had like pencil sketches on the opposite side of Woozy's page and I knew that ink would kind of like bleed through and show through so I didn't want to disrupt whatever was on the back page so I decided to do just experimenting on the right page and then this little last little sketch is just of June really quickly throwing him in and yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed today's kind of like rambly video I do apologize it seems like it's been super disorganized recently I'm gonna get back into the swing of things really soon so yeah, hopefully starting with Wednesday, we will get things to a new fresh start. Including probably a new intro. Hopefully, new intro, outro. I've been planning to do this for today's video, but I do not have the outro finished. So yeah, um, I'll talk to you guys next time with another video. Bye!